look at that this is the basement nicely yeah and excellent excellent washrooms you know they look very beautiful look at this it's 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 awesome looks absolutely awesome this is one washroom Now this is the second, I'm running this water to fill up the tank. Beautiful washrooms, right? And now is this sump, you know, sanitary sump right here by the, in this nice beautiful place right here collecting the, well, sewage water. You know, feces and urine. They should have put it outside, the so-called builders. Obviously, it's a shortcut that should ne that should even be prohibited. What we ha what we have here is the sump um, placed inside the basement, which it shouldn't be. In some small mechanical room, something for heating. Not of particular interest to us right now. We are concerned with the sump, which is which was plugged. The water was actually I rushed a little bit. The water was right up to here up to this brim up to this brim and uh, how to say um, so I pumped it out I overrode the float there is a piggyback float as you can see there's two plugs one this is this is the uh, uh, there, there's one plug and the other now one plug is for the, where do we have the plug? Oh yeah, one plug is for the float, as you can see. This is for the float, it's not working. So this funny looking plug is for the float. It's called piggyback plug. Now this one is, is straight to the pump. Uh, if we put plug this one in, it just turn, turns on the pump instantly, as you can see. Okay, we turned it off. Now, what do we have? It's a, this, this, this um, sump shouldn't be here because it should be outside but it's allowed by the plumbing code unfortunately so this is in the there is a li there are living quarters here and uh, people at the same level have next to it have a sump collecting feces and urine no good it should be in a big sump outside but it saves people thousands of dollars to do a shortcut like this now what it is well this pipe this white pipe pvc is a, how to say is a part through this pipe the the all the all the sewage from inside all the ugly stuff gets pumped out it goes just like this what you see here is two valves in one this is one is check valve the valve that, that um, allows the water to flow only in one direction in this case up then it, that's called check valve it doesn't allow the water to come back. Then it's a shut off valve, which we can obviously shut off like this uh, and keep it open. Then the pipe goes up. This is another check valve. I don't know why someone put it in, but hey, well, no problem. It just adds a little bit of resistance, no big deal. The pipe turns around and keeps going somewhere to the uh, sanitary sewer line which is slightly higher than obviously than the basement and then it goes by gravity into the city now the second pipe here this one is the pipe it's just the vent it just delivered it's just an empty pipe minimum two inches for a sump like this the vent for some is minimum two inches and that's enough for most cases and keeps going somewhere you know through the roof or connects to a different vent it prevents the buildup of gases inside the how to say inside this tank and those gases are flammable so in case there's a spark that could actually be a small explosion so 
the vent for the sump is extremely extremely important so now these two funny where are they oh yeah these two valves these two sorry plugs remember this one is just a regular plug to, for the pump this one this one goes inside uh, is connected to the float float which you will see very soon where is it <clears throat> oh yeah there is the float there is one it's one this one is yes you could hear it's high water alarm when there is a lots of lots of um, water and the pump is not pumping this float makes it this awful noise that attracts attention this float turns the pump on and off on and off you see it's dirty it should be cleaned so that's one thing um what else aha the <coughs> the the floats here give me a second i will plug them in as they should be give me a sec for the proper pump operation the piggyback uh, plug and uh, and the uh, pump plug should be like this so the piggy the, the piggyback plug goes into the uh, into the wall socket and this one the the pump plug is plugged in into the back of it check it out when we plug it in nothing is happening because the action of the action of the um, the action, sorry, the action of the um, pump is being co controlled by the uh, float. This float, which is <coughs> which is uh, lower, where the heck is it? Yeah, the f the float which is at the lower position. Let me let me show you where the heck is it. Oh man, that sucks. Show me those in this position. Oh yeah, the float, the lower one, not the upper one, which is for high water alarm for the noise, the lower one. So this is connected to the piggyback. Uh, it has a piggyback uh, connection. It appears that there is debris, as it was the last time inside of those check valves. I have to take them apart and see what's um, what's actually happening if they are clean so I'll be using the the pliers regular pump pliers and also I'll be using a bigger bigger wrench of course I have to set it to the proper size that would be the bigger wrench that has actually very wide jaws I took the check valves the section not both of them just one apart as you can see yes that's how it looks like inside yes it's gross it's supposed to be gross now this one is here as you can see nothing there nothing here is a flap there's a few types of check valves this one is a flapper type you see that's how it is it's upside down right now is there something in there no no it's good no it's good so so we're fine okay put the uh, disconnected uh, and dismantled section from here to here put it back together hand tighten hand tighten the this this and this nut and then put the put the larger where do I have it where do I have it oh yeah put the larger wrench to it gently I repeat gently tighten them to be snug no do not apply much force Now, oh, just a sec. Now, what we have to do? Can you see this? The how to say the 
grease which the, which the tenants were throwing inside and the dirt on the how to say dirt and toilet paper on the how to say on the uh, on the walls and on the floats I have to clean it up clean it all up well by hand welcome to the plumbing world it's a, welcome to the perfume factory it's not a job it's an adventure okay the sump is clean so the water level is just below the probably one inch that's all it is over there so the crab uh, let me just give you some light the crab from inside is gone yes <coughs> by the way the vent here in order to disconnect it it connected easily uh, what I what did I put it where did I put it just a sec oh yeah it it has a rubber coupling it's called Fernco coupling they call it yeah this one here so you can just uh, loosen the clamps and sl slide it up and down and then uh, inside there is a pipe which is cut the clamp the how to say the the uh, fitting is keeping it uh, together so you know you'll be able to slide it up and already the bottom part will be freed to be moved now this is the grease give me a sec oh, I put the headlight on man it smells like hell oh, you see this this is nothing but grease just simply grease the, and this is the, what the customer got out some more so the tenants are dumping grease they don't give a hood not even toilet paper because the toilet paper will go but they, what happens is with the grease it will go into the tank where there is water is cold and hot grease will solidify into something like this and then it prevents the proper operation of floats yeah because it, it will go through the pump the pump is strong in case you want to pump uh, find the right pump I tell you the best the best uh, deal they are expensive pumps it doesn't it, it there is no particular uh, brand needed this one here is Liberty pumps excellent pumps you will never go wrong with them pumps and maybe they make hardware I guess too but the pump get the pump that can pump solids uh, up to two inches let me repeat this can handle solids up to two inches a sewage pump so it will be sewage pump solids up to two inches once you get this one that's that's the best bet all the pumps on the market are excellent absolutely excellent so uh, no particular brand is better than the others you know so uh, one third horsepower half horsepower uh, pump that can sewage pump that can handle solids up to two inches and like I said I'm not working for those guys but the Liberty pumps, I saw them over a few decades. Excellent, excellent pumps. Uh, slowly getting there. Yeah, we still, I still need to fill it up like really crazy. A lot of it, lots of this water, and then we will uh, turn the piggyback and plugs in and we'll be watching it, how it works, if it works properly. I will do it twice. You see, that's the how to say that's the high water alarm. It means that there is too much water in the sump. Now we'll be checking it. Give me a sec. Piggyback switch the way it should be, and let's oh, let's plug it. Let's plug it in. And now watch it. Okay, there is no high water anymore. So whenever you install a sump, have a high water alarm installed properly. That's the high water alarm, this box, different types, talk to an electrician. Do not do it yourself, do not burn down the freaking house. And check it out how it's going. Okay, we'll have to adjust it a little bit more, adjust the float, but otherwise it's working. Now I'm checking it for the second time just to be sure everything is working fine and before you leave make sure you check everything is plugged in this is the high water alarm so it means one one cable goes right to here that's high water alarm power the top one the other cable goes to the to the float which is this float where the heck is it 
Uh, good luck with me to see this. Where is it? Uh, oh yeah, that's the float, which I'm touching. You see, that's high water alarm. And now the other float kicked in, the one which is at the top. Watch it, watch it. It's just a switch inside. You see, that's all it is. That's enough. And um, the bottom one, right at the bottom, this one here is the piggyback switch. So this is this goes to the float we just saw. This one uh, goes to the pump. So if the float is open, the pump doesn't work. If the float is closed, the pump works. Then the current flows here. Open, no current. Closed, current goes. Before we plug in our piggyback uh, plugs, we will just fill it up with water and check if everything is working fine and if there are no leaks in the in the check valves. This one is combination check valve, so it's a check valve and shuttle valve together, so two valves in one. It's combination. This one is just a check valve. Whether you buy a se separate check valve and then shuttle valve that that that's the same as if you bought a combination and the sequence from the pump of those valves is union it means this check valve this and shut off valves always install them in the sequence union check valve uh, and shut off valve whether it's a combination or whether they are separate union check valve and shut off valve if you're working in this business just really engrave it in your mind and you will never go wrong.